Good day, fruit fans. Bob right here with our first update of spring. Now we got our first taste of spring this last weekend where it was finally warm and dry. And if you've been following the record rains that we've had here in California, the last three months were wild. We received anywhere between 21 and 25 or even 26 inches of rain in just the first three months of the year. Now in comparison, our normal average for the whole entire year, 12 months, is 12 inches of rain. So we have doubled that. It has been great for the snow in the mountains. We're gonna have surface water all summer long here to irrigate our fields, but it has caused some issues. The bloom that we had started in late January, it is just wrapping up. The cool days, cool nights have drawn out that long bloom and so what we have, we're going to have a little later start time than we did last year. Right now we're estimating to be 10 to 14 days behind last year's start. So that's pushing us back a little bit. We just started thinning this last weekend, which is two weeks later than last year. Wanted to kind of show you something here. I'm excited to be in this orchard here today. This is a three-year-old proprietary peach variety. We planted this three years ago and it will start in production this year. In two years, it'll be in full production. But I wanted to take a look at some of the fruit here. As you can see here, we actually have a big piece of fruit and then some smaller guys. And we still have a flower on this tree. So you can see early bloom, last bloom, causing us to have to wait for this fruit to ripen so we can take a look and see what pieces we want to leave at thinning time. So we talked about thinning and we just got started. So as you can see here, we have quite a bit of fruit on this little hanger. We've got a double here and a double here. Obviously those will always get pulled off. And then what we're gonna go through is pick the fruit that we want to leave. And we'll look for a certain number and we'll only leave the healthiest fruit on this hanger so that will absorb all the energy from the tree and grow to the size that we want and that we can get to you to enjoy continuing on tree fruit as i said we're going to start a little bit later early season varieties we had some cold days in february took some of those blossoms off the tree so we're going to be a little bit lighter in the beginning middle of june is when we should really start having some volume we think that volume will continue throughout the rest of the year we're really looking forward to good tasting sweet peaches plums nectarines from central california to you on the citrus front we continue mandarins lemons caracaras and grapefruit we'll have supply of those through the end of april probably a couple weeks into may so don't miss out on your opportunity to get a hold of some of those We've got a fantastic 2023 coming up. We hope you're looking forward to it as much as we are. We'll keep you updated what's going on here in California. So until next time, we'll see you from the field.